Are coming to the El Centro Fire Department, including the hiring of four new firefighters. Karina Zabazarte caught up with all of the new firefighters who say they're excited to be a part of the team. With the addition of four new firefighters, the battalion chief says they're set to better serve the city of El Centro. Always had immense respect and admiration uh, working alongside, you know, having the opportunity to work with personnel from the El Centro Fire Department. They know how to operate very well and they are probably the leading fire department here in Imperial County. These are the four new firefighters that will be serving the city of El Centro. With three of them having prior experience, they say they are ready to take on this role. To be a firefighter, you got to be a master of all trades, right? So touch a little bit of a fire, medicals, anything that you can get your hands on and just perfect that craft. Um, El Centro is a very uh, uh, recently prospering uh, city. Uh, it's very evident in our in our valley, especially with this strategic plan going on, and uh, very excited and honored to be a part of it. Very excited. Uh, you know, it's a great department. Very tough. You know, it's I'm honored and, and privileged to be wear, wearing this this uh, uniform. The fourth firefighter is from Oceanside, California, and was an EMT. Working on the ambulance with a firefighter paramedic. We respond to everything. So just seeing how you operated and. A lot of the great things that they were able to do really just inspired me to make the jump over. The battalion chief says having new personnel will help the department respond to calls faster. But that is not the only new change coming to the department. So what we're doing is we're conduct conducting a, uh, a community risk assessment and a standard of cover uh, document. Uh, we are conducting a strategic plan. We're having that done by a third party. And what that's going to do for us is it's really going to give us a good outlook of what our, what our capabilities are where we're deficient and what we can do to change what we're doing and allocate the, the resources that we have available. The battalion chief says this will help them with respond times and to better serve the community. Reporting from El Centro, I'm Karina Basarte.